Welcome into General Grammar. My name is Mr. Goody Grammar, and I'm here to provide you with all your English grammar needs. Let's go ahead and get started. But before we begin, make sure to download the free guided notes in the description box below. The notes and the episode have matching badges that help you follow along with each section. Also, Underline any maroon text that appears in the episode to identify key concepts and key terms. It's the shopping list your mom always forgot to take to the grocery store. <laughs> Today, I just received a shipment of something that's about to make your sentences a lot more precise and coherent. What am I talking about? <clears throat> I can't tell you just yet, because we gotta jump into a... Basket breaker. Uh, uh oh. For this week's basket breaker, the question is what are some of the biggest disagreements that families have in the living room? Okay, I know you probably ooh, fell down bad memory lane row, but it's all good. Those horrible childhood memories from your siblings beating you with a gogur. Push those to the side. Because my answer definitely had to deal with the television. Hmm. You're fighting your siblings over who's going to watch Batman, Beast Wars, or The View. Huh? As I asked in the basket breaker question, it was all about disagreement. However, the topic for today is all about the opposite of that. Agreement! Whoa! In such a world, we're talking about agreement? What? Specifically, what I want to talk about is subject-verb agreement. Three, two, one. As a reminder, the subject is the noun that the sentence is about. And the verb is the word that expresses an action or a state of being. Example, Janet gossips excessively. In this, we have our subject, Janet, and our main verb, gossips. That's what she's doing. So we have a subject and a verb. And today, we're going to talk all about how do we match these together so that they agree. Here we go. When it comes to subject-verb agreement, the verb of a subject must agree with the simple subject of the sentence in number and person. But Mr. Goody Grandma, what do you mean? Number? Ha! Right you are, random question. When it comes to making your subjects and verbs agree in terms of number, what I mean by that is, Number refers to whether a word is singular or plural. For example, let's take a look at this sentence. They is playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Does this sound right to you? They is playing Dungeons and Dragons. If you said, no, you're correct. But why? Why is this sentence incorrect? Let's go ahead and look at our subject first. We have a plural subject, they. They is indicating more than one person. It's a group. But we then have the verb is. Is is used as a singular verb. So we have a plural subject and a singular verb does that match? No! Never! So what do we got to do to make sure that our subject and our verb agree? Well, we have to put it into the correct form so they match in number. Therefore, we can rewrite our sentence as, They are playing Dungeons and Dragons. Now, our subject and verb agree in number. They're both plural. Ho ho! Example. He performed in the shower. Uh -huh. Dang, I actually hit that note. <laughs> Wait. 
Is there something wrong with this? Absolutely. We have a singular subject. He. There's just one of him. But then we have perform. And that's actually going to be a plural form of performs. So we need to make sure that we have a singular verb as well. Therefore, we'll go ahead and rewrite our sentence to match and agree. So in order to have a correct subject verb agreement for this sentence, we would say, he performs in the shower. La Christina Aguilera. Example, Mr. Freeze and Robin is planning a coup. Ooh, collusion. Is there something wrong here? Once again, there is. We're seeing that a singular verb form is used when you need a plural. There are two subjects taking place here, a compound subject. We have Mr. Freeze and Robin, two. So we need to make sure our verb matches that. Therefore, when rewritten, our sentence is now, Mr. Freeze and Robin are planning a coup. Oh, the take it over, Batman. <laughs> pow, pow, whoa, yeah, oh, oh. Whoa. Battering, battering, battering. Example, Mr. Gumdrop attack unsuspecting villagers. Uh? Right away, we can kind of listen and go, uh, there's something wrong with that sentence. No, not just a gumdrop attacking villagers is quite unsettling, but the subject verb agreement used in this is not correct. In order to fix it, we need to make sure again that our verb matches the subject that it's attached with. So we could rewrite our sentence to be, Mr. Gumdrop attacks unsuspecting villagers. <laughs> In this example, we've gone ahead and rewritten it so our singular subject, Mr. Gumdrop, matches the verb attacks, so they're both singular. Hmm. But the body count is not. <laughs> In essence, if you have a singular subject, then your verb's going to want to be in singular form as well. And if you have a plural subject, then guess what? Hoo, hoo, hoo. The verb needs to be in plural form as well. But I think we need a little bit more practice. Let's go ahead and ask for some employee assistance. We need some employee assistance. For this section, I'm going to read you a couple of sentences. What we're gonna to do together is, we're gonna to attempt to find all the subject verb agreement issues in each sentence. You ready for it? <laughs> I know you got it. Let's do it. Example. You was trying to kill me. Yeah. There's a lot wrong with this, specifically the subject verb agreement and potentially the homicide that's about to take place. Other than that, though, we really want to make sure that we link up our singular subject, you, to the verb to make sure that they agree. So when we rewrite the sentence in order to make sure that the subject and the verb agree, we would change the sentence into, you were trying to kill me. <laughs> you think you're clever, don't you? Think again. <laughs> <laughs> and now they agree. Example. Oh, these lights does not work. <laughs> if you notice in this example, our subject, lights, is plural. However, the verb, does, doesn't agree with it. What can we change our sentence into to make sure that it does match up? That we can make sure that the plural subject, lights, matches up to the verb. We could change it into, these lights do not work. These, these lights do not work. I think I hear something. Uh. Ah! Woo. 
Dolphins aside, I want to go ahead and take that battle and check you in the aisle. Let's do an aisle check. Let's go. For this section, what I want you to do is two things. First, find the subject verb disagreements happening in the text that I read you. Huh, what's wrong with it? Second thing, go ahead and fix those issues to make sure that the text is, oh, beautiful little butterfly, free and void of all disagreements. <laughs> do you think you can handle it? I know you can. Let's do it. Make them agree. Unlike the majority of politicians. Here's the I'll check passage. My boyfriend are the worst. <laughs> he is always saying, baby, uh, you is the one. I loves you. <laughs> I cannot be with him. He have poor grammar. <laughs> well, what's wrong with this passage? A lot, both grammatically and socially. <laughs> but that's okay, because you're gonna fix it. Alrighty, how'd you do on it? Hopefully pretty well. <sighs> Not hopefully, I know you did well. You are the great champion of subject verb agreement. So let's check out with this answer. Again, the original example was, my boyfriend are the worst. He is always saying, baby, you is the ones that I love. I cannot with him. He had poor grammar. Now, here's the answer. My boyfriend is the worst. He is always saying, baby, you are the one. I love you. I cannot be with him. He has poor grammar. Hmm. If you what, 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 chopped out all those disagreements and got this correct, great job. Go ahead and give this video a giant thumbs up. If you didn't get everything, <clears throat> don't even worry about it. Remember, learning new concepts takes time and practice, and we'll be there to help you along the way. <laughs> if you do have any questions, go ahead and Throw it into the comment section below. We'll be happy to help you out. Whoa, 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 ho, grammar goodies. I had such a blast with you. Thank you so much for making our subjects and verbs agree. My name is Mr. Goody Grammar and comma in. Anytime to general grammar. I'll see you next time where we're going to get a little independent. Bye.